Every day, young workers face a range of challenges in the workplace, from heavy workloads to conflicts with colleagues. These challenges can take a toll on their mental health and well-being. But what if there was a way to help managers support their young workers and prevent mental injury and illness in the workplace? To meet this need, Liminal have developed the Positive Leadership Training Suite. The Positive Leadership Training Suite, or PLTS, is an interactive training program that uses simulation to teach managers about supportive leadership and how to create a mentally healthy workplace. Funded by WorkSafe Victoria's WorkWell program, the PLTS was developed by Liminal VR and our project partners, Deakin University, Youth Affairs Council Victoria and YLab. The program contains six modules, which are available in virtual reality and in a PC format. Within simulated training scenarios, you will embody a manager and will interact with 3D animated avatars of young workers. These interactions will take place within a number of common workplace scenarios. You will learn about a range of psychosocial hazards in the workplace and how you can provide support and guidance to your staff. You will make decisions within the context of evolving scenarios and at times will have to read the room and provide supportive leadership to your workers. Here are a few examples. Excuse me? I swear I'll let the whole world know just how appalling your customer service is if you don't give me my money back right now. Oh, listen, lady, I just can't be handing out refunds to everyone who comes in complaining about their earlobes feeling a bit weighed down. Why don't you just get a hold of yourself already? They're earrings, not bowling balls. Jeez. You have some nerve speaking to me like that. What's your name? I have better things to do with my time, you know. Time is ticking. Assign Jamal his next task. Why don't you take a short break and get some fresh air, Jamal? I'll handle the customer. The customer's still waiting outside. Why don't you give it another shot? The customer's still waiting outside. Why don't you give it another shot? Hello? Is anyone there? You want me to talk to her? Again? Hmm, Jamal is unlikely to feel safe around Lisa, who may have more threats or racial abuse up her sleeve. Try a different approach. Why don't you take a short break and get some fresh air, Jamal? I'll handle the customer. Why don't you take a short break and get some fresh air, Jamal? I'll handle the customer. Hello? Is anyone there? I mean, what is the holdup? Nice one. Jamal can now gather himself before returning back to work. <sighs> Thank you. Uh huh. <sighs> it gets tiring, you know, carrying you and the rest of the team the way I do. Ah, oh, come on, Bells. Please don't call me that. You know I'm just telling it like it is. Did you hear I broke the yearly record too? How could I not? You sent an email to the entire company. Am I sensing some negativity, Bella? Oh, can I get back to my calls now? It's not like it makes a difference. Excuse me? I'm just saying. Maybe if you spent as much time making calls as you did doing your hair and makeup, we'd be ahead as a team. What did you just say to me? What is with you lately? Sounds like this level of boasting and unkindness towards a colleague is out of the ordinary. As the team leader, what do you do? Okay. I think we all need to settle down. This is a professional work environment. Teammates don't talk to each other that way. That's enough, Carlos. Leave Bella to focus on her work. Come on, get back to it. These products won't sell themselves. <sighs> Best to let this one pass and let them sort it out between themselves. Okay, I think we... Okay. I think we all need to settle down. This is a professional work environment. Teammates don't talk to each other that way. Good call. 
The conflict between Carlos and Bella could be an early sign of a poor workplace relationship. If that's the case, this could negatively affect their mental health and potentially that of others in the team. It's important to take steps to minimize the conflict as early as possible. Who will you catch up with first? Between struggling with her sales targets and butting heads with Carlos, she must have a lot on her mind. How might you start this conversation? Carlos mentioned you hadn't hit your sales targets. I've seen a drop in your numbers lately, so I'm here to help you with that. I just wanted to check if you're okay, Bella. I thought it would be nice to have a change of space and chat about this morning's interaction with Carlos. This place has the best coffee. I just want to make it clear to you, Bella, both you and Carlos need to find a way to get on with each other. I don't want any drama between colleagues. I just wanted to check if you're okay, Bella. I thought it would be nice to have a change of space and chat about this morning's interaction with Carlos. I just wanted to check if you're okay, Bella. I thought it would be nice to have a change of space and chat about this morning's interaction with Carlos. This place has the best coffee. Yeah, this is actually the best latte I've had in a while. Mm. I'm doing okay, I guess. Okay, do you feel like chatting about what happened this morning between you and Carlos? If you do, I will keep the conversation confidential between us. Good job. It's important for Bella to know that she is in a safe and trusting environment where she can discuss how she feels without consequences. Honestly, Carlos and I usually get along just fine. Sure, he can be irritating and seriously full of himself, but we still manage to have a laugh here and there. But these last couple of days he's been taking jobs at me and this morning he was just way out of line. I felt a really hurt and embarrassed. Now that Bella's expressed how she feels, how do you respond to her? The PLTS tracks your decisions, which you can review in a dedicated website. The website also contains additional learning materials, which includes a range of questions to help you reflect upon how you go about managing your staff and how effective your workplace is in managing the psychosocial hazards. Through the WorkWell program, Liminal piloted the PLTS in eight workplaces across a range of industries and sectors, reaching 82 managers. PLTS was well received by managers with consistent feedback that was beneficial enjoyable and closely resembled real life situations. 75% of managers considered that the PLTS contextualized the learning materials in a way that was easier to understand than conventional methods. Survey results also demonstrated significant improvements in key areas such as considering team members feelings, prioritizing career development and recognizing and acknowledging the work of staff. In providing feedback about the program, many managers indicated that as a result of completing the PLTS, they were taking active steps to promote worker wellbeing and reduce work-related stress within their workplace. So if you're a manager looking to take part in an innovative training program, consider the PLTS. It is an effective and engaging way for you to develop the skills that you need to help young workers thrive.